Uh, in at least uh, two of my uh, Udemy courses about uh, Snowflake, uh, I try in parallel to, to connect to and to use uh, ChatGPT, basically is uh, OpenAI uh, REST API available online. Uh, so uh, you can do this uh, going to platformopenai.com. Yeah. Okay, I am already here and uh, you can connect with your Microsoft account or your Google account. Uh, don't worry, uh, nobody will ask you anything to, to pay up front or uh, something. Uh, you usually get, if uh, you never uh, use this before, uh, you'll get uh, $5 US uh, for the first uh, three months. Uh, I already did this, I exhausted this in the past. So for now, uh, what I do, what I did uh, is... Uh, I uh, came up here and uh, I, I just provisioned uh, provisioned my uh, account with, you see, 10 bucks the last time, five bucks a, a while ago. I can tell you, five US dollars, yeah, will uh, will allow you to do a lot. So that's not very expensive and uh, is useful if you want to do experiments. Uh, what you'll have to do is uh, not just to pay, but just to create to create also uh, an API key. And uh, you can um, you can go here. Yeah, they just transform the keys right now. I see uh, from user keys into project project specific keys. So I have an old key of mine here, but the, the procedure should be similar. Once you click on uh, create new secret key, uh, you'll get a new secret key created here. Uh, save it somewhere because that's a f that's the only time that you'll able to see it in clear. They say here that uh, you can edit the key, but basically you can change uh, the name of the key. You'll no longer see the, the actual secret key. Save this into uh, an environment variable, OpenAI uh, uh, API key, as I uh, tell you here. Uh, you can see the procedure. Uh, I come up also with more detail here on screen. And uh, by doing this, uh, you can later use, uh, uh, you can later uh, create an OpenAI client with OpenAI API key OS environment yeah, from Python, and you pass the name of your key. You can install in VS Code also a free uh, Genie AI plugin for ChatGPT. I already did this in the past. Uh, I'll just show you how uh, how it is, how it goes. Uh, that's a configuration here. So uh, you can basically ask questions directly and uh, you see here, you have change uh, API key. This is where you enter your API key. Uh, back here, let's see, uh, in a very similar manner, uh, if you uh, use Streamlit with a TOML file, yeah, you may need to add an entry like this one, OpenAI API key equal, and here you pass your, uh, uh, your uh, API key in a, a streamlit secrets.toml file, you know, similar to what to, we did uh, for uh, the Snowflake account. And uh, you can uh, later connect to OpenAI from Python with OpenAI API key ST secrets. Yeah, that's the only difference. It's no longer OS environment. And uh, here you have it, guys. Yes, yeah, that's uh, how you can connect. Uh, you can create a client client connection to Open uh, OpenAI uh, API. And uh, you can basically integrate this uh, with uh, Snowflake. When you install the side by side uh, Snowflake uh, plugin or extension uh, with a ChatGPT Geni AI plugin or extension in uh, VS Code, uh, you may uh, come up with an interesting uh, integration between ChatGPT and Snowflake, because uh, for your uh, for your uh, all your uh, Python and SQL files, uh, they could be eventually generated by ChatGPT and uh, executed uh, on uh, Snowflake. Uh, this is the architecture of all of this. Yeah, so let's say VS Code is installed locally on your machine. And uh, you have uh, two different cloud services here. One for OpenAI API, yeah, that's a cloud service, and a Snowflake account. Your Snowflake account is also in the cloud. 